Good morning. It's time for an ice bath. There's uh, no sun today, so no need for the sunglasses. It's still pretty bright. It's early, it's only like 9.15 in the morning. I got a busy day today and a busy night tonight. So I'm knocking this out for the week on Thursday. It's not as warm as I like. <laughs> no sun warming my face. I put in 30, 30 pounds of ice. It's cold. I'm sure it's like 48 degrees. Oh. I really didn't think I was going to do this today, so I didn't have a lot of the dread. And then like an hour ago, I was like, fuck it, let's just do it. Get it over with. And I can just totally chill tonight and not have to think about it tomorrow or Saturday or Sunday. So here we are on a cold, colder day, sitting in an ice bath. That's discipline. That is fucking <laughs> discipline. I'm, I, I, I continue to say that's the best part of this, is that for 12 weeks now, I said I would do this and I've done it. And it's something that's very unpleasant, especially in the beginning. Um, a friend of mine, uh, David, who I acknowledged, uh, who I, uh, dedicated one of my ice baths to he did he did an ice bath and he enjoyed the experience of being cold so I don't know what the fuck that was about I don't ex <laughs> this is not <laughs> wow isn't this great not yet um, but he did say that one hour afterwards when the dopamine flushed through that uh, he felt like in heaven and that's 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 the case Although I got to say, it just makes me, it makes everything in my life um, a little crisper. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. And, uh, oh, wow. Mm. So uh, this fucking ice bath is dedicated to Frank P. Frank P. Frank is a dear friend of mine. I've known him since I think 2001 or two, so over 20 years. He is also one of my buddies who has done a bunch of men's initiation rituals, whether it's a grail or a bridge where we actually do a burial ritual, which is pretty intense. Um, Frank was someone who showed up all the time, like me. <laughs> We are both brothers in <laughs> loving uh, the process of self-discovery and challenge, masculine intimacy, and, uh, you know, just everything that came with it. Just being able to open up and share our feelings and uh, be heard and uh, learn, you know, learn about ourselves and about other men and about, you know, women and all the stuff that we would talk about. So when I think about Frank... Frank, when I think about you, I uh, oh, I remember the first <laughs> event uh, we attended together, and you'll remember this. I'll be cryptic about it, but at the end of your ritual, you uh, walked around in a square, and and uh, King Frank. That's what I remember, King Frank, and that right there taught me so much about, you know, setting my own boundaries and, and claiming what's mine. And uh, I was thinking what else about Frank and uh, both Frank and I smoked back then. And fuck, it was just great sitting around a campfire, uh, being in a hot tub and uh, smoking and just, <laughs> running out late at night to a store to get cigarettes if we ran out. It was, uh, 
I don't know, I still miss smoking, but it was really fun smoking with Frank. And uh, I quit smoking 13 years ago. So we haven't done that in a while. And then the other thing I'll say about Frank is um, for years and years, he was talking about taking this mythical trip to Australia. And it just kept, you know, he, he just kept talking about it and it never seemed like it was going to happen and uh similar to the way i talked about writing a book and it you know uh it took it took some men saying to me stop talking about it just go do it and uh finally i think it was last year frank got on an airplane and uh had his mythical trip and he did it so I honor someone who has a big vision and, and, and takes action to make it happen. And I believe he's going on another trip down there, down under. So he found something there that spoke to him. And uh, that's awesome. That's the way Thailand has spoken to me. Um, so the last thing I'll say about Frank is that he is one of the very few men who call me just to check in. Um, I'm usually that guy for most of the guy, my friends. I'm the one that calls and checks in and gets, gets guys talking about what's going on. No one ever calls me. But even just a few weeks ago, the phone rang, it was Frank. He usually calls when I've been thinking about him too. It's We have this kind of connection. Anyway, he called and said, I'm just calling to say hi. And that's so nice, you know, I'm not calling because you need something, just to, just to check in. So Frank, uh, this, this hot tub is dedicated to you. I love you. You inspire me. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy and gr grateful that you're in my life. So there you go, buddy. This one's for you. Okay, the shivering has begun. Ooh, ooh, one of those military airplanes is whipping fast overhead. Can you hear it? Starting to see some blue peeking through the clouds. So maybe it's going to be a nice. Oh, hello, Mr. Bluebird. Oh, I wish I had a camera right there. Hey, buddy. Little bluebird. Big bluebird. Looks pretty fat. Looks like he's eating pretty well. Jumping on the roof. my pet for 10 seconds. Okay, I'm shivering. Doesn't really feel cold right now. Mm. There seems to be a difference between 40 pounds of ice and 30 pounds of ice. <laughs> There's like a, uh, <laughs> a breaking point, what we call in day trading a pivot point. <laughs> Pivot point is where you expect something to happen. Either the stock's going to reverse or it's going to break through mm. or it gets stuck. It can either go up, go down, or go sideways. nine and a half minutes. Sometimes if you just um, take a few deep breaths, instead of tensing up with the shivering, um, 
the shivering isn't quite as violent. Oh my god, I started watching a new TV program. Euphoria? Wow. What an engrossing uh, show. I'm, there's two seasons, I, I think, and I'm on the fourth episode, and that episode is just horrific. The main character is named Guru, and she's a drug addict, and she is hitting a bottom in this episode, and it is ugly and scary, and um, it's quite a, quite a compelling, even though it's about teenagers in, in high school, um, uh, it's about self-esteem, and it's about um, definitely drug addiction and relationships, and where, where we get our cues in life based on our parents. Uh, I'm looking forward to finishing the second season. I have to do a little research and see if Oh, um, I'm trying a new supplement. I ordered um, lion's mane extract. Lion's mane is a mushroom. Oh, there's a turkey vulture. Um, wouldn't it be great if we had little cameras in our eyes so when we saw something we could go and then capture what we see? It's a little awkward to have a camera in here. Um, I do have a GoPro, with, which, is, which is waterproof. Oh, but I haven't used it in so long. It is something that could just be floating in here, I guess. But like, it would have been cool to capture that airplane, that bird, that bird. Anyway. Um, there's a company called Life Cycle, which uh, I've been seeing ad after ad after ad for their five pack set of uh, different mushroom extracts, one for sleep, one for energy, uh, one for your know, like mental cognition. Well, the only one I really want is the mental cognition one, uh, which I want to use when I day trade. Um, or if I have something important to be thinking about. Um, so I was all set to buy one from Lifecycle and uh, they charged me like $12 in shipping. And I just said, fuck that. It's a little tiny bottle. It just felt like such a ripoff. So then I did a little research on Google to find the most potent lion's mane extract. And it's made by a company called Rainbow, R-A-I-N-B-O. And I ordered their lion's mane extract. And it just came yesterday. And I took uh, a little uh, one dose yesterday um, before I went to run some errands and I definitely felt like energy and just a really elevated m mental clarity and then I did it again today when I was doing my day trading and definitely felt it let's see so I would have taken it around seven so it's like two and a half hours ago and uh, I felt really good so um, I'll keep trying it and let you know. Okay, we're down to the last hour. Things have s settled down. It's at 50 degrees. I'm feeling good right now. Um, but I will have to get out. Mm. Feels good now. It's just really slow and easy. It's like I'm one with the water.
Central Subaring. 1455, 56, 57. Okay. Here we go. 